In honor of Women's History Month, I am thrilled to be sitting down with two phenomenal women from the Memphis Grizzlies organization, two women who represent two different stages of a career path, the executive level and the entry level. I am joined now by Joy and Cassidy. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Absolutely. I'm excited for people to get both of your perspectives at, at different parts in your career as women working in sports. And Joy, I'll start with you. What yeah. is something that you are most proud of in your career thus far in the sports industry? I think I would say that throughout my career, I'm most proud of the teams that I've been able to develop. Um, I've been in various management roles for 20 some years, and I've been so blessed to be a part of high performing and diverse groups. And I've had a history of helping people develop and you know follow their dreams, and I've seen uh, you know, numerous people rise up through the corporate ladder and get promoted and really be able to find themselves in a great spot. And, and that's just been so exciting to be a part of. I love that. And hearing from your perspective of 20 years in management, Cassidy, when you're young, you find out that there are wins at every level of working. What's something that you, on the flip side, in, in the early stages of your career are most proud of? Although my road has just kind of begun, um, I'm still really proud of the journey that I've had to take to get here um, and just the experiences that I've been able to make. I'm also just really proud of the goals I've been able to achieve in the time that I've been a part of this organization and the fact that because I've achieved goals already, I have the ability to set new goals for the rest of my career. That's something I'm really proud of. I am proud of, to be a part of this organization, I'm surrounded by a lot of great women. That's a perfect segue. As you look at future goals that you may have, I wanted to ask you, at this part in your career, there's a lot of time forward for you. What is the biggest question that you have for your future self, let's say 10 years from now? A question I would like to ask my future self is, you know, am I still happy doing something that I love and am I still in an organization um, and in a job where I feel constantly supported like I do here? Love that. And Joy, I'll ask you the flip side of that from your position where you are now. If you could go back in time and give your younger self one piece of advice, what would it be? Well, does it have to be just one piece of advice? Because there's lots of things <laughs> I'd like to tell my younger self. I would tell my younger self to be much more confident. You know, that whole fake it till you make it is, it, it's just so real. And, you know, to take more risk Put yourself in positions that, um, you know, get out of your comfort zone because there's so much to be learned. And learn from everyone, regardless of title. Everyone you encounter in your career, you can learn something from. And also, look at the long game. You know, don't get caught up in disappointments or somebody else taking credit for a project that you worked on you know, there's enough credit to go around and all that matters is, is, is are you reaching your goals and are you inching towards that? I love that. Sometimes you don't just have one piece of advice. You need collective <laughs> advice when you have collective experience. Cassidy, I'm going to ask you one more question going off of Joy. There's advice that you can give too. And even if you looked back maybe three or four or five years ago to your younger self, what would you tell her as she tries to embark on this career in sports? Like Joy noted on, confidence is key. Um, just being confident in myself and my abilities. Um, you know, nobody has the ability to tell me I can't do something that's gonna be coming from myself. You know, I'm, I'm my only roadblock. Yeah, um, exactly. And I would also say just like don't be discouraged. Um, there are plenty of women in the same spot that you you are in. So many women that want to pursue a career in sports, and so just don't be discouraged. Um, there are many people who are like you, and many people who want to see you perform well in the roles that you're in. Well, I appreciate both of you so much, and it is an honor to be women working for the Memphis Grizzlies with both of you. Thanks. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely.